Hi everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Katie. So I recently got married to Carl. I moved up here in October. I want to tell you how I came to know Jesus. So I grew up in a very chaotic household. My father left when I was three. I didn't really know much about him other than he had about eight children and that he doesn't provide for any of them. My older brother was adopted away from my mother before I was born and also I have a sister who I grew up with. We lived in a council estate in Wales. My mother was a bipolar alcoholic. She would be so unpredictable and abusive. She always had boyfriends and me and my sister would fend for ourselves, often hit, starved and kicked out on the streets. We suffered all kinds of trauma and we were undernourished, scruffy and completely ne neglected. But God really had his hand on mine and my family's life. And when I was about five, I remember walking to the shop with my mother to get her alcohol. And then the people outside the church invited us in, so we went in. My mother apparently got saved that night. We started going to church. We would loved church. We went on camps, stayed out, had fun, felt loved. And the people there were lovely. It didn't really last long because my mother's drinking got out of control. She married a non-Christian and then she stopped going to church and we weren't allowed to go. So she put us into foster care and we got separated from her. Um, I then got separated from my sister, was placed in the children's home and I moved from home to home for years. And then uh, it was absolute chaos. I began smoking, drinking, starting getting in trouble with the police. I remember feeling very angry and at the life God had given me. I hated everyone, I felt alone, often considered ending my life. By the age of 15, I was kicked out of care and put in a b and I was left in very dangerous situations. I would beg for money and get food and spend all my time with drug ga gangs and people on drugs. Um, eventually, I was given a flat by social services and I saw it as my chance to get the life I dreamed of. So I took all the steps to sort my life out. I went to college, made new friends, learned to drive, got a really good job, went to uni, got a boyfriend, did all the things the world tells you makes you happy. I worked myself into the ground to achieve these things and got everything that I ever wanted. But the loneliness and the emptiness were still there. Nothing I did took away the anger, the trauma, nothing, nothing helped. I began to lose my mind. I was anxious, depressed, having panic attacks all the time. Eventually, the, my, the boyfriend I had left and everything in my world started to crumble. I was getting more and more mentally unwell and started having a breakdown. In a desperate state, I went to my mother's and she told me to pray to Jesus. I did think she was nuts, but I did pray that night. I prayed desperately all night for Jesus to come into my life. In the morning, I was still having a breakdown, but I can't describe the peace I had. I just knew everything was going to be okay. What was even more strange, my mother gave me the phone number of the minister from when I was a child, and we went, up and I texted the number, and the minister called Steve, was thrilled, came straight to get me, and I started going to his church, reading the Bible, and things in my life started to change. Not my job, or my house, or my situation, but my heart was changing. I no longer felt alone. I began to deal with my anger and bitterness, and I had joy and peace. This was 10 years ago, and since then, Jesus has completely transformed my life. I'm able to enjoy my life now, and I'm no longer on my own. He gave me a church family in Swansea, and now a husband and a church here in Hope. I'm so excited to see what God has in store for me and Carl. Thank you so much for listening, and I urge you, if you don't know Jesus, to trust in him today. Thank you.